What's up, baby? Hello, my darlings. So, um, this is highly requested, actually, believe it or not. Um, I get messages, tweets, um, YouTube messages, I get personal messages, form swing questions on how I do this. A lot of you guys ask me how I mix my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. Um, I don't wear this a lot. I've been wearing it a lot lately, which is weird because it's a little bit of a thicker foundation, in my opinion. Like, if you have oily skin, I don't really suggest it because of the shimmers. Um, and since it's summer, I do get a little bit oily. So I only use it when I go out, like if I go out to the club or if I'm going out to dinner or something. That's the only time I really, really use it. Um, if you guys have seen which video, no, blog post. I had a blog post. Um, it was a picture of me and my best friend, JJ. That's what this foundation looks on me. It really creates a picture perfect, like, sheen across your face. However, however, that day, I gotta admit, I mixed it a little messed up. <laughs> um, it was slightly lighter than it should have been. I was in a rush. No excuses. Basically, I messed up. I created a makeup crime and I had the makeup face where my face was lighter than my body and it's just not cute. It's not cute, y'all. It's not cute. Don't ever do that. Just don't do that. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys how I mix my foundations. This is going to be kind of hard, but I'm going to do my best because without my camcorder, this is a little hard for me to do. Um, the only thing I can suggest you'll need, <laughs> um, I have like this little sample jar I guess you could say I get these in sets from Michaels you can either get them at like Michaels Joann's any craft store really um, it comes in like a big ass I really need to stop cursing I know <laughs> it comes in a really big box like rectangular box and it comes with quite a few of these I don't know how many come in them but I've used so many I give away samples in these if you guys have ever done swaps with me or have bought anything from me I'm pretty sure I gave you a couple of samples in these jars um, they're very inexpensive in my personal opinion so I went ahead and sanitized them and I have the end of a q-tip so just one ends a q-tip and I just cut off the end just to kind of stir if you guys have a spatula looking thing use that totally fine and I'm basically in between shade caramel and golden beige. Sorry, I wrote on my hand today at work. <laughs> um, there's a shade in between these two called R Real Ginger or Rich Ginger, something like that. It's number nine, and this is eight and ten. I don't really like that shade. I did try it, but it makes me look super ashy. Like, it kind of makes me look a little pink. You know, like it's just not, it's just not a pretty finish. I tried it, trust me. The very first shade I ever tried was golden beige. But it just does, it's just way too light. And I try to warm it up with my MSF Natural, which works. It does work. But I'm just getting darker a little bit in the summer. Just a tad. So I feel like caramel's better suited for me. I'm going to squeeze it on my hands so you guys can see the difference. In each of them so this one is caramel and this one is golden beige obviously you can see which one is closer to my skin tone right um, I'm gonna show you guys another foundation so you guys can compare um, okay this is my I'm gonna show you guys another one this one right here this side this is my Clinique perfectly real I raved about this a lot during winter time I'm two different shades. I have 31G and 34G. This is 34G. So as you can tell, it's a little darker than golden beige, and it's not as dark as caramel. But this is still a little bit too light, just like a little bit, like a little bit. Because in the summer, you know, you get a tad bit more tan, and it's more of like a golden tan for me as opposed to like, you know, just straight dark. But it, I mean, it blends well into my skin, I'll show you see but it's just so light it's just still light you know what I'm saying like it's still light and it won't blend into my neck properly see even blend it out you see how light that is so I don't use that foundation right now it's better for me in the winter this is an NC42 in Studio Fix Fluid it's just a sample so this was my goal so as you can see it's like right in between right so I'm going for this so let's just keep this out usually that's like the best way that I compare is to see you know how 
how it'll compare. So here's a swatch of NC42, and as you can tell, it's right in between. So that shade's pretty much my goal. I know it looks light, but when it blends into my face, it just works, especially after I set it. Now that it's summer, I'm a little bit darker, so although NC42 still works, I'm kind of more of like an NC43, sometimes 44. You can't really tell because the light's beaming on me right now, so I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually like this dark, <laughs> if you guys can see that. So it's just the lighting, okay? So that's my goal, all right, is to get in between-ish those colors. So what I do is I typically squeeze the golden caramel in first. Normally I just do this as like a one-time application. It's been a while since I actually mix it in a jar, but I want to show you guys so that when you guys finally do mix into your perfect shade, mix it to your perfect shade, you can just keep using it and you don't have to, you know, keep pumping it out because usually I do like a two to one ratio but now that I'm like a little bit darker it's more like a two and then like a drop kind of I guess so I squeeze out let's squeeze out the uh this is caramel yeah this is caramel so I just squeeze it out just keep going just squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it okay so about that much in there now the thing about this shade is when it does blend for me, as you can see, okay, I'm going to put it right there. It does blend like a dream, right? You can hardly see it. Then again, it's on my hand, so it would, you know, obviously that's like not the right shade. But it blends like a dream. So if I wanted to, I could actually use caramel by itself. But it's just a little bit too dark, like literally just just a tad. It's not even that serious. It's like just a tad. But I just want it to match me and blend downwards. So I use the caramel, or the golden beige to kind of just tone it down a little bit. So let's compare. This one is caramel and this one's NC42. Then I probably do like a third of a ratio to it, give or take. So like if I pump it out like six times, then I would pump this out like two two or three ish like so I would say let's give about four pumps and that's of the golden caramel golden beige I'm sorry that's what it looks like so far and then we just mix I just mix it it usually takes a second it's kind of annoying just, you literally just mix it Okay, then we compare again. It's pretty much the same. Almost. This one's still a little darker. But like I said, the NC42 is still slightly lighter for me. Just a little. So what I do next is I usually just swatch it on me. So that's pretty much, like if we compare, let's see. Swatch the other one. Okay, swatch next to each other, right? NC42 is just slightly lighter, right? So I go ahead and blend, and I just want to see. Yep. And it pretty much matches. It's pretty much perfect. Just got to blend it. But that's to my hand, okay? So you want to make sure the best place to test your foundation is here on your jawline, because that's what's going to blend down. So let's do it on this side. I'll do a little bit of swatch with this. I'm literally just going to dip my finger in it. Okay, so I'm just going to tap it like that. And we just blend. See? So when it blends invisibly down to your neck, that's how you know that's pretty much your perfect shade. I'm going to do a whole other video on how to find your perfect shade, but for now, and this is how I mix my Revlon photo ready. So that's the ratio that I use. Um, obviously more pumps of the caramel. Okay, so that's pretty much all I do. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to go ahead and ask me. I'll always answer your questions. So sorry if it wasn't as helpful or as detailed as you thought it would be. There's just really no rocket science to it for me. I just do it. Like, I just mix it. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!